Hi everyone, it's Brad. Thanks for coming to today's Mayak. Uh, on this one, we're going to talk about GimKit. GimKit was actually created by a student when uh, he was in high school. And uh, if you're on Twitter, social media, um, you can follow him. He's a great, uh, great follow and uh, always comes up with very creative uh, ideas. So, and take a look at the history of it. It's kind of a cool uh, story. So, um, just so you know, when you do sign up, I believe you get five kits for free. Um, otherwise, you do have to pay. Um, I do it. I pay for it just because my own, uh, my family, we like playing it at home, actually. So, it's, it's definitely kind of fun. So, um, these are kits that I've uh, created, you know, in the past. Um, but just to show you some things over here, you have all this information here. I'm not going to go through a ton of it right now. Uh, but I do want you to know that what you can do is you can search for kits that have already been created. So let's just say you're doing, um, you know, the, well, let's just do multiplication. Let's just do that and search for it. So you have multiples of multiplication. You can see what they are. So you can even see the questions that come up. Um, you can see maybe it's a little bit too much. So maybe you're like, you know, uh, the five times table. Okay, so if you type that in, yeah, let's do that. So if that's what you're working on, that's a little bit more specific. So, okay, so you like that. So if you click on it or select it, you can, one thing I'd recommend, just go through, show the answers, you know, do a quick scan to make sure that they're correct. And looks good to me. So what you can do over here is you could quickly and easily share this right in here. So you could copy it and share it. Um, you could play it if you want to. Uh, you can preview it to see what it looks like. It's always nice to be able to preview it, um, you know, just to see and kind of play it yourself. Um, so then you can see in here how each time, this is the cool part of GimKit, each time you get something correct, you're rewarded with some money. So I'm just going to select continue, but let's get something wrong. So I have a dollar here. Okay, now I'm down here. You can view the correct answer and you can see what the correct answer is and go through. So now what I want to do, so 30 is going to be 6 times 5. I'm going to continue. So you can keep playing with these. So I recommend checking it out this way. What's cool is you see the shop down here. So I'm going to have you guys play here um, you know, later on. But if you go into the shop, you can see there are all these different types of things. And the more you play, obviously, uh, the more you can uh, you know, buy. So you can see here, money per question, you can go up to getting five dollars uh, if you have ten. So if I go through and let's go back, so we're going to go back to the questions. So if we do that, we go back to questions. So here we go. Let's continue and let's go in here. So now I have ten dollars. So I want to shop. I want to do this money per question. So now I can buy it. Okay. I'm down to zero. But now you can see it's going to be worth a little bit more because I also have um, like a streak bonus going on. So it's going to keep on kind of going up. Um, all right. So now can I shop for some more? Here's a streak bonus. All right. So, uh, let's buy that. All right. So then, oh, now I have 20. So it keeps on going through. There's so many things you can, um, you can, whoops, I'm going back into the shop. But there's, there's insurance you can buy. There's a multiplier. There's power-ups. So you can go through. You have these mini bonuses and this mega bonus. Um, you can go through and, and check out your different themes as well. Um, but it's definitely worth checking it out. When you're ready, though, and you're ready to share it with your class, you can, you can just hit play. And when you hit play, there are going to be these options. Um, so this kit, as it has, it isn't in my account. I didn't make a copy of it. So actually, let me go back and do that. Um, let me make a copy. Okay, so now it's mine. So if I want to, I can assign this as homework or I can play live. It's a little bit more fun playing live. Um, and you have these options. You have the classic mode where they compete individually. You also have a team mode. And you can see how it's players per team. Now down in here, you have time. All right, so how long do you want to play it for? Is it a race? All players go together to reach a certain amount. You can change the money. Or are they all in? Where everybody's in there, they're trying to get to. So with the race, I'm sorry, with the race, uh, they're trying to reach a million dollars. But if they're all in, they're all working together to try to get to 20 million. 
or whatever it may be. At first, it seems like it's going to take a while, but it really doesn't. Um, recommend going in. Give everybody, you know, $1,000. Um, and I always say that they can't go below, you know, maybe you don't want them going below 100 Do you want an answer check? Do you want music to music? You know, it's up to you. Um, do you want them to be able to join in late? Do you want them to have power-ups and only uh, allow power-ups that don't hurt other players? Um, there's a freeze. There's all kinds of cool, fun things. Um, and then, you know, you can see here it is. So when we're ready, we hit continue. Now, what I'm going to do is uh, here is the site. So I'm going to go in and right here. All right. And I'm going, that's just a um, tab resize, which allows you to see two screens quickly and easily at once. There are other ways, of course, to do it, but I always like it this way. So there it is. I'm going to join. Uh, put my name in. Okay. So you can see here it is. Um, when they're ready, they can, um, you know, go in and you can draw while you're waiting. So, you know, we, whatever. Okay. So if I hit start the game. Here it is. So the question comes up, and so here it is. So the game started. You can see how much money uh, that each individual has, and it's just kind of neat to see it and go through. Um, when you're ready, you can see all these. Um, as the teacher, you can end the game quickly and easily if you want to. Um, but again, it's up to you how you want to try this out. But I recommend going in, checking it out. If you want to go in, and um, you see your kits here. If you want to delete some, because again, until you pay for it, um, you may want to go ahead in and just go in and, oh, I'm sorry, is just kind of archive them um, because, there it is, so they're archived. You may need to remove some just because you only have a certain amount. So again, try this out. It is, it's a lot of fun. Um, I include a way to that if you're going to uh, create your own, um, which again, you can just hit, you know, new kit. Let's just call it a sample. Uh, whatever you can choose, a dog. Uh, there you go. Um, you can go through these different ways over here. So you can add from a question bank. Um, you could just go in, just add questions as you'd like to. You can go from a spreadsheet. Um, so you could certainly do it that way. So that's kind of fun. If kids come up with some questions in a spreadsheet, you could quickly and easily. Um, you know, if they share it with you, you can add it, um, which really kind of nice is they show you how to do it as well and how to upload the file. So here it is in a, in a Google Doc. Um, another one, a really nice one to show you real quickly is a create from flashcards. Now, they won't say go into Quizlet um, because uh, <laughs> there's something that came up before about them in Quizlet and Quizlet didn't want them using or some, some something. Um, but I recommend going into Quizlet and again Quizlet's free you can sign up and uh, you can go ahead in search for some things that you'd like to find um, I'm just gonna use ones that I've used before it's this fourth grade science PSSA terms um, they will show you exactly oh, let me close out of this um, they'll show you exactly how to uh, paste this in just by selecting the, the question um, I'll show you how to do it here. It's really kind of simple. I'll show it to you very quickly. Um, what you need to do is you need to go in, scroll down. Of course, always check to make sure everything is you know exactly what you'd like. And you need to select uh, the three dots, which is an export. Um, oops, let me go back into that this way here. <sighs> oops, sorry about this. There it is. Okay. So we want to, sorry, I missed that. Right here, these three dots, the more, you're gonna see the ability to export. So if you export, what you can do is just copy the text. When you copy the text, go ahead back in. Now, one thing to note is I like flipping the term and definition. Okay, you can always preview the questions as well. All right, so then here you are, you can create it and voila, you are ready to go. And you can just say finish kit and you can click on it and show answers of what they are. And then of course you could go on and if you always wanna just preview it, just preview it. 
it's a nice simple way to see things and then you can go ahead through and check it out so definitely worth checking out and um if you have any questions let me know thanks for watching guys take care bye bye